Hi friends, it's Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. Today I'm going to be doing sort of an inspiration video for some altered paper clips. I love altered paper clips in my journals and I hope that you do too. I think that this will give you some great ideas for ways to use paper clips or altered paper clips inside your journals. Now, altered paper clips have been around for a long time and I think it would be pretty hard to find you know, the first person who did, <laughs> you know, these different ideas and things like that. So I will just kind of preface this whole video by saying, if I was inspired by someone, um, it may not have been the first person, but it was someone who inspired me to make something similar, I will link them down below so that you can check out their videos as well. Um, so you can go down to the description for all the information about these videos, including, you know, any of my digital kits that I've used used or other videos where I have done some different altered paper clips and things like that. So I just wanted to kind of start by giving you an overview of what we'll be doing. So we're going to be doing just some, um, I say simple paper clips, but that just means that, you know, there's not a lot of decoration on them. You can still see some of the paper clips, you know, on them. So just adding ribbons, adding dangles, um, wrapping them with paper, different things like that. And then we're going to do some, you know, more sort of complex things, more intricate things like these, which are actually pockets with little tags in there. I love those and they're so much fun to do. And then we have something like this where it's a paper clip, but it has a little pocket that you can put little pieces of ephemera, keep some old tickets in there. Um, you know, you can store things right in there and I love having pockets anywhere I can get them. And then we also have this one, which is a collage on a book page. So we all have book pages hanging around. I think this is a great way to use up some book pages and add some interest into your journal with um, an altered paper clip. And then we also have these little, um, they look like kind of gifts right now with a little bow tie on the front. But really what they are when you open them up is it's a hidden note card. And uh, you, if you guys have been around me at all, you know how much I love little hidden spots for journaling and different things like that. So here is a little note card that's all folded up inside this little paper clip here. So those are really fun to make. And then the last one we're going to do today is this kind of long um, paper clip that has some sewn paper on it with um, a paper clip that's removable on the back. So I hope that you'll join me as we make some altered paper clips and you're inspired to make some altered paper clips for your own journals. So let's get making. One of the easiest ways to create an altered paper clip is just to wrap it with some scrap paper. So if you're like me, you probably have an entire <laughs> drawer or tub filled with your paper scraps from, you know, off cuts of different things that you've done for other projects. And I think this is a great way to use up some of those scraps. So I'm using a bigger paper clip here. So the bigger paper clips are just about, well, a little less than two inches um, long and a little bit less than a half an inch wide. Um, but for something simple like this, um, it's kind of nice to have the bigger one, especially if you want to maybe add some words or something like that to it. So all you need to do for this is you just need to wrap the paper clip. So I'm just going to hold it on um, the paper here and I'm just going to make some um, creases in my paper. And now um, I'm trying to wrap so that I don't go too much past the end of the paper clip there so that I don't have to cut anything down. But you know, if you had some extra left over here, you could certainly cut it off if you wanted to. And then I'm just gonna wrap again to make my second line. And I'm trying to be sure I do it even, as even as I possibly can. And then I'm going to make a little mark with my pencil because I can never um, cut straight just when I do it by hand, although we could do that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to make a mark that's not quite to the end. It's close to the middle, but not quite um, in the middle because I want these two folds to overlap a little bit so I have a place to glue, um, to glue them together. So I'm going to pull the paper clip out. And then I'm going to find that line and um, I'm going to cut it. Now, I, I'm going to try and cut it with my scissors and see how straight I get it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then I can either <laughs> tuck it into the other side if it doesn't look too great or something like that. So I could actually um, do that. So if I fold that 
cut line in first because you can probably, I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't cut it very straight. <laughs> it's okay, but it's not very straight. So now I have this little um, folded piece of paper here and my paper clip can fit right inside of there. So you would put it in with you know, one of your hooks on the outside so that you can put it onto something else. And then of course you, you know, can decorate this. So if I just pull out, um, I probably don't even need to add anything to this already. I can, there's already some ink on here. I can just stress it up a little bit, add some to the creases. And I might even um, stamp another word on this one and we can wrap it right around here. And then what you can do is um, you can grab your um, glitter glue or your, I'm gonna use a little bit of Fabri-Tac here. I'm gonna see if I can just do a light little line right down here because my glitter glue has been disagreeing with me lately. I need to get a new tip for it, I believe. And so I'm just going to glue that together and if I was doing this, um, I might stamp on it before I glued it together. But now I should be able to put actually the bigger piece in here so that my small end is right out of the back there. So you can see this one, it kind of has a nice little uh, word on there and you could put it into your journals. I'm gonna do it maybe, oh, I can't do it that way. That piece of paper is a little bit too old to do that with. I'm gonna try and do it here if I don't, oops. And so you can see you can have your paper clip right here with a nice little word. And then you could maybe even add some, you know, additional embellishments to it right under there. So this is a fun way to do a quick paper clip that you could um, rearrange different ways. And since I didn't, um, glue the paper clip to this, if I wanted to put it on this side, you know, I could just switch this around so that my other side has the clip end on it. So let me find a good piece of paper to put this on so you can see what that does. So then you can see on this side, I can do it that way too. So it doesn't end up being upside down. So since the paper clip isn't secured onto the paper, there's a couple options for, you know, which side you could put this on. Um, and then you could certainly add more of your ephemera and stuff right to that there. A simple way to make an altered paper clip is just to add a ribbon to the top. So I like doing something like this because when you put it in your journal, let me find a piece of paper here. When you put something like this in your journal, it adds to what comes out of the top. Now I have a lot of, I have a lot of things going on here, but you can see my paper clip here adds some more fun to the top. And you could even take it and add, add it to the side if you wanted to. So you could put it to the side and then you would have some fun fabrics sticking out of the side. So um, I like doing this because it's very simple but it has a big impact when you put it into a journal. Now the other thing about this is that you know the paper clip is showing so if you don't want you know this silver paper clip you know you could get some decorative ones. I have this little um, brass colored paper clip here. Now it is smaller than that one but that's okay because I'm really just going for, like I said, the impact of having it, um, you know, stick out of my journal. So I have just a little piece of brown ribbon here and to make um, this kind of uh, ribbon here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half so that there's a loop and I'm gonna take the loop in and put it through the small loop on my paper clip. And then when I pull it through, I'm gonna open the loop and then take the two ends on the other side and just pull it through that loop. So then when I pull it tight here, and this is very long, like I would probably wanna cut this down a little bit. And I like to have them sometimes, you know, not even there. So now I have a nice little knot here with my paper clip. And now when I put it in my journal, it has that same kind of effect. I'm gonna, actually, I probably wanna do it on a piece of paper that goes all the way out to the end. 
Let's maybe do it on this one just so you can see what I'm talking about. And so now, now I have this ribbon that sticks out of the side uh, for the paper clip there. So that's a simple way to add some texture, but then it also gives you a space to add um, ephemera into it if you want to. And I'm trying to see if I have a little piece of something that I can <laughs> throw in there to kind of show you what that would look like. So if I put a piece of paper on here, you know, it, it's not only decorative, but it becomes useful if you, you know, add some ephemera into the paper clip after you got it into your journal. So I love doing that. It's real easy, um, but yet it's also useful. Another fun idea for altered paper clips is to add dangles to them. So I've already created um, these dangles with beads and head pins. So I'm not going to show that in this video. If you're interested in learning how to do something like this, you can let me know in the comments and I will create a video like that to kind of show you how to make these dangles. But you can take dangles like this and then I have my brass colored paper clip here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide them onto the paper clip. Let's see if I can get this one on there. So then you have these cute little dangles on the paper clip. And once again, I'll grab my journal here and you can see how that would look if I have them inside a journal. I love the fun little uh, motion those give to the paper clip there. And these could also, you know, be put on uh, sideways into a journal as well onto the side like that and then um, you could even oops I can get that out of there if you move them into the inside or just to the other side then they would hang off the end so if I wanted them you know kind of um, coming out the side I can move them to the other side of the paper clip and then they actually are you know gonna come out to the side of your journal. So if you kind of wanted them not to add some bulk to it, you could just put them on the edge of a paper to kind of add something, you know, to the side of your journal. So I kind of like that idea as well. And then you could combine any number of the ones that I've kind of showed you before. So you could, you know, combine a ribbon with some dangles. Um, I think I, I still have this ribbon here. So like if I put this Actually, I think I'm gonna move these back down to here. Move them on this side. And then I'm gonna put my ribbon on this side. We'll see how that'll work for me. Oops, if I can get them through there with my fingers here. I'm gonna try this again. Kind of already cut this piece down so it might be a little tricky for me to get that back in there but i think i got it okay so now you can see you have um a dangle that or a paper clip that has both the dangles and the ribbon on top and so that you know that would be really fun inside a journal as well i'm gonna put it on this one so you have your dangles here and you could add um, ephemera there and you just have to watch because this one will they will come off so you could modify this paper clip to you know add a, a little curve at the end to maybe keep these from coming off if you wanted to um, I think that would work just perfectly but I think this is a this is a fun addition to uh, kind of combining what we've done before you can also combine your paper wrapped paper clip with the dangles so that you can put a paper clip here and have some dangles coming down there. Or if this, you know, you can put this one on the side too and you can have them, you know, kind of hanging out over there. So for this one though, I did have to, because of the way the paper clip goes, I did need to add the dangles after. Um, I put the paper on and glued it down, so I actually had to um, wrap those while the paper clip was already wrapped. So it's a little bit more complex, but it's certainly a lot of fun. And you could even, you know, put a ribbon on the top of one of your uh, paper wrapped paper clips and, you know, combine all kinds of things to create um, a beautiful altered paper clip to put into your journal. 
Another fun idea for altered paper clips is making these cute little clips. Now they just look like they're, you know, a piece of paper with a ribbon out the top there, but these are actually a little pocket with a tiny tag inside. And you could put a little journaling spot on the back there, maybe a quote or um, something like that that you could put right on the back there. But I think these are so much fun um, to make and they are actually paper clips. So they can go into your journal wherever you want and you can pull out your tiny tag there and write something on it and it sort of becomes like a little hidden journaling spot there. So these are um, just a simple little pocket with the paper clip actually glued into the pocket. So these the paper clips here are secure. They don't come out. Um, and I have a video on how I created these and I will link to them in the corner as well as put them uh, the link down below if you're interested in making these because I just love the way they look and as we said before when you um, have something at the top of your journal you add a nice little um, texture up at the top of the journal and these you could even put um, on the side as well so that you have something coming out the side and let's uh, see if this one now this my word will be upside down so depending on how you um, well, I could put it this way. I was going to say, depending on how you put your, if you have words on your paper clip, you might need to just, you know, be careful of which way they're going. But if I put it this way, my Mary is right side up and I still have um, these lovely um, ribbons sticking out of the side of my journal. So I really love the way these um, turned out and anything hidden is always fun for me. So this is another cute idea to add a little hidden place inside of your journal for some words or um, just some pictures. To make this one, what I've done is I've cut three die cuts, two of a larger size and one of a smaller size. So it's the same, it's kind of like those nested die cuts. And so they are the same shape, but different sizes. So I have two, a bigger one, and this one is a smaller one that we're going to use to make the pocket. So before we put everything together, I'm going to put the pocket on first, just to make it a little bit easier for me. So I wanna be sure I know, you know what side I want up. I always, um, when I'm gluing pockets, I always hold the side that I don't want glued so I don't accidentally glue it shut. Um, and then I'm just going to take my glitter glue here and just glue along the side edges, depending on your shape. Mine's a little kind of ovally shape up to that top edge. So that's all the glue I'm going to put on there. And then I'm going to choose which one I want to be my front. And I kind of like this one because it has some flower design there. And then I'm just going to try to center this on the piece there. And then put that down. And I did add some distress to these pieces before I started gluing everything together just to um, add some interest there. So once that's pretty dry and glitter glues, it dries pretty fast there. I think it'll be, I think it'll be good. All I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my paper clip and on the back piece, now you can decide, you know, which side you want out. And because this front piece is blue, I thought it would be nice to have the back side being blue as well. So I'm going to take this and decide, you know, which hook, which um, rounded piece you want on the outside. I usually like to put the larger one on the outside so that, um, you know, it's easier to put papers and things in, but you can decide to put whatever one you want out there. And then all I'm going to do once again with my glitter glue is I'm going to add glue to the metal piece itself just so that that is done. And then I'm going to add glue all around the outside because we want this to be secured down as much as possible when we put it on the back side. And then I'm gonna take the front and then I'm gonna line this up to be sure that everything matches, hopefully. And then I'm going to make sure I press everything down really, really well all around that paper clip there. And then all around the sides. So it's nice and secured. So this one, you know, the paper clip's not going to come out of this one will be a altered paper clip for good. One and done there, which sometimes I like to have. 
And um, as you know, we saw there, just going to try and grab a little piece of paper. I think this will fit. It might be too, a little too big. You can put a little tiny piece of ephemera in there in the top here. Oh, did I glue it down the wrong way? Oh, no, it's there. It's there. Maybe I need another little piece. So I'm going to grab one of these little tickets. I think that'll be easier to see. So I can put a little piece of ephemera right in there. And I love the way I love the way that looks. And then when you put it into your journal, depending on, you know, how big your pages are, these little pieces of ephemera might stick out the top there. Or if you put it on a piece of uh, your journal page that's lower, you know, it doesn't have to. So I love this little idea of having a little pocket in my altered paper clip that I can move around inside my journal. Okay, so for our hidden note altered paper clip, I've just cut out um, a piece of paper that is four by four and another one and this one this one's just like regular copy paper and i added some distress to the inside and around the edges so this one's just um i, I should say regular scrapbook paper so it's not card stock and then this one is card stocked and this one is a little bit less than two by two because our finished um, note is going to be two by two and I want the backing to be just a teeny bit smaller um, so that it doesn't you know stick out around the edges or anything like that and then I've just grabbed a piece of twine here that I'm going to use at the end to make our bow so you can do this any size this one that I did is actually I cut this paper four by two instead of four by four so that's why it's like one by two at the finish so you can do these you know, like I said at any size you want um, and they're simple and fun to do and they add a nice hidden place to to write a note I love that so I'm taking my scrapbook paper my 4x4 scrapbook paper and all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it both ways so and make a nice crease there just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut one of the seams into the middle so, and um, if you don't have paper that is right side up or upside down, this doesn't really matter, um, you know, because it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna show. So now what I'm going to do to make my note card is I'm going to put my cut seam on the left hand side, and then I'm going to start at the bottom here and I'm going to fold this over. And I don't think I went all the way into the middle. That's why that kind of didn't fold up right. So let me just do a little bit more of a cut there make sure it's all the way to the middle okay so i'm going to start by folding this one over and then i'm going to fold these two up and then i'm going to fold the last piece over and that makes my little hidden note card here so you can see you open it up like this and you have a nice little hidden spot to write a note on right here so then to finish this paper clip what i'm going to do is i'm going to use first i'm going to put my twine on because we want this glued to the back so i'm just going to do kind of a makeshift bow and when i do this i just want you to know that this will probably be my best tip ever <laughs> when you make bows just your normal you know crossover knot if you go twice around instead of just once you can actually make it stay in the middle for you so that you don't have to have um, a friend put their finger down on there so i love that little tip it really works well if you're trying to tie gift packages or whatever you want all by yourself there so you can see that's nice and tight and now it's you know it's not a perfect bow but i just wanted to um, put it where i want it in the middle of this note card here so that i can make sure that the back side is going to be glued down for me so this is all ready to go. Then I'm gonna take my back piece, which I said is a little bit less than two by two. I'm gonna put my paper clip on. Once again, you decide which is the outside and which part of your paper clip you want um, sticking onto the outside. And then we're going to add glue just like we have before. Um, so when you're adding back pieces, now I could have matched this up if I wanted to, um, you know, even, put a piece of the scrapbook paper onto this that matches, you know, 
um, what I have on the front so that it kind of looks a little bit more cohesive but I don't necessarily feel the need to do that. So you can see I have glue all over the place and I'm going to glue this down right in the middle and make sure it's all pressed down all over the place. And I didn't quite get it in the middle. So before it dries, I'm going to make sure that's in the middle there. And then this is another one where obviously the paper clip is going to be there for good. So let me just put my glue away there and we'll give that a second to dry. And then once it's dry, we'll take a look. Now my, my twine won't fi fall off, which, you know, so it's nice and glued in there. I don't have to worry about when I untie it that it's, you know, it's going to fall off. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my journal just like that and then when you untie it you have a little secret spot here that you can write in so I love secret spots I think they're fun <laughs> and so I'm going to try a little try to tie a little bit of a better bow um, I don't know I'm sure there's a tip you know to making your the ears of your bow Go the way you want them to go I just don't know what it is I should probably google that or something so that I my bows are a little bit nicer sometimes I don't they go up and down a lot but that's okay up and down bows are just as pretty as bows that don't go up and down that go side to side right I'm trying to tighten oops tighten the bow there we go. And now I can probably pull these a little bit. Not quite up and down. And then I can um, cut off these ends are a little bit too long. I want to keep them long enough to, you know, allow the bow to be tied and retied, untied and retied. But there we go. That's a little hidden spot that you have there. And this one would be fun, you know, on the side too. You could you could put that on the side if you wanted to as well. And since this one doesn't have any words or anything on it, I could even, you know, throw it onto the other side to have it be a fun little package. And if I tied my bow up there a little bit, <laughs> so it's a little bit more centered, um, that might be, you know, fun too. So even when you open it, like if you've put it on the side, you can still open it and it becomes, you know, that hidden note card that's right here too. So I love these. I think they're so much fun and they'll add a little bit of interest to your journal. Okay, for our book page collage altered paper clip, I'm just taking an old book page and you could certainly use any size that you wanted to. Um, this one I believe is six by nine and I'm just tearing it in half or you can cut it in half, however you wanna, wanna do it. And then um, this is like a chemistry book or something, I think. So I'm gonna try to, well, it's pr I'm probably gonna be covering up most of it so it doesn't really matter if you know some of these drawings are showing, they actually are kind of cool, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this half of my paper there and I'm going to fold it in half like that. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again. So that's gonna be, this is gonna be the base um, of our paper clip. And to sort of put it together, I'm just going to take a little bit of my glitter glue and I wanna just glue the edges together so this whole thing um, stays closed when I fold it in half like that. And then when you have your paper clip, you can put your paper clip on there, whichever side you want out. Once again, I'm gonna do the back side out and then we're going to fold it over. And actually, I think I might actually make this the um, drawing side be my front side just because it's sideways anyway, and it may, might have show a little bit of interest, you know, if you're looking at it. Okay, so this is the base of my paper clip. And then I have, you know, a bunch of um, collage pieces that I'm going to use on top of that. And so, like I said, my base 
piece here for my collage is definitely going to cover everything up. So I don't really need to worry about, you know, that my words are sideways or whatever. Um, before I do that, though, I am going to just add um, some distress to this. And I think I'm going to do my collage before I put, before I glue the whole thing together because I want to be sure I have it the way, you know, I want it before I end up making it, you know, permanent. <laughs> so I'm just going to distress all my pieces and then we'll be right back to put it together. Okay, everything's ready to go. I've decided what, you know, side I want to be my front side so I know where I need to collage. So I'm just going to open that up to make it a little bit easier for me to put everything down on. And I'm just going to glue my pieces down with my glitter glue. I did kind of, you know, uh, do my arranging beforehand. So, you know, don't think that, you know, you, I'm just kind of throwing this together and it's, you know, looking like a decent collage. Um, <laughs> I did actually play with all these pieces first to kind of see where I wanted them to go, just so it would make it a little bit easier for me, you know, on camera to put it together for you. We wouldn't have to sit and watch, you know, <laughs> me fiddle around with these pieces, which I did for quite some time before I kind of got it to the way, you know, I wanted it to look. So um, I've decided that I want all these pieces I like the contrast of this um, orange ticket here. And I have these little um, stamps, these kind of steampunk looking stamps. These are actually from a kit that I made called Up She Goes. And they're the, the stamps. And I just, I love the way they turned out. They're so much fun um, to put around. So that one I'm going to put there. And it does hang off a little bit and I'm okay with that. Just make sure there's no glue there and then I'm going to put my adventure on the top and I'm gonna I don't want it exactly straight I don't think I want it to be a little bit cockeyed so I the um, adventure piece was torn from the edge of a book page so it has kind of that jagged edge there and um, the bottom of my base of my clip is kind of has that torn edge too so I think that actually um, turned out kind of nice the way that worked so now I'm ready to make it into a paper clip so all you need to do now since this is um, kind of the you know the pocket where our clip is going to go is put your paper clip down wherever you'd like it and once again, we're just going to add our glitter glue to the paper. I'm going to add some to the metal clip to make sure that it holds down. And then I'm just going to fold it over. And I kind of like these because they're they're nice and big. So they really are, you know, um, an addition to the embellishments in your journal. It really, you know, shows up as a nice extra piece inside your journal and I really I really kind of like that so after I get this all glued together let me put my pin back in my glue so it doesn't dry out okay once we feel like this is pretty dry I'm just going to show you what this would look like you know by itself inside a journal so you can really see how it's it's a nice sort of focal piece um, for a journal uh, you know on any page even on you know a plain page let me see if I can find just a coffee dyed page just kind of show you how this would look all by itself there I think that really um, is a nice addition you know to a piece and I'm just gonna grab let's see let's see if I can find a just a little piece of ephemera here and where did it go so you can see you know if you would put a note card behind it you could you know start adding some layers to make it look um, fun in your journal just like that so this is another great way to use up some scraps and extra book pages, which I know we all have to make some great um, altered paper clips. So for our sewn altered paper clip, we're going to be using um, scrap paper. You can see I've already cut all kinds of stuff out of this. This is from uh, my Moody Blues kit. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just using paper, my sewing machine, and my paper clip, that's it. Oh, well, and maybe some distress, of course, because we, you know, we always have to add distress. So, but I thought this little piece right here would be really fun as a nice, long, altered paper clip. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna leave this 
side on here because I'm going to use that as part of my fold over. But I'm just going to cut along um, the edge of where I think I want my paper clip to be. So I'm just going to cut that like that. So I just have this piece now. And then what I was thinking was I would fold it in half to make my little pocket for my clip to go in. So this, when I sort of looked at it, let me put this away. When I sort of looked at it, this side here is just about um, an inch and a half, a little bit over. And then the blue piece is just about, it's actually about the same. So I think I'm gonna just try and put a little score mark right down the middle um, on that line there. And once again, if you're doing this with, you know, scrapbook paper or whatever, you can, um, you can just fold it in half. You don't have to be, you know, find a something like this that has, you know, it looks different on both sides or something. But I just thought this piece would be fun since I found it in my scraps, but you could certainly just fold one in half. Now, because um, actually this is really good, <laughs> the, how even it ended up, I'm kind of surprised. Um, so I don't really need to do anything to it. I can just start my sewing. Um, actually, what I think I am going to do, though, I'm going to get my thing out here and I'm going to cut off a little bit of that edge because um, I don't really like that line up at the top. Not that, you know, you could certainly leave it, but I think I like that better. And um, the way that I can put my clip on now, I could make this a side, a nice side paper clip. So it almost becomes, you know, like a little belly band here. Let me see if I can show you. Let me find a good page to show you on. So when I put this on here, if I can find my paper clip. So depending on the size of your page, it almost looks like a, a belly band there. And of course, you know, you could still put, you could still put ephemera in there to hold it together. I really love the way that looks. So let's, um, I'm really liking this. I can't wait to see how it looks when we get finished here. So um, I cut that edge off. I am gonna do some distress around the whole thing just to make it a little bit more cohesive and also to get rid of any white um, paper that you see from the cut marks that I did. I think I got that all good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew around three edges. Now it's, um, you know, this is folded in half. You could certainly do this with two pieces of paper, the same size if you wanted to as well, but I'm just going to sew down one side across the bottom and up the other side, even though this is a fold, I'm just going to sew because I want three, um, three of my sides with sewing and then I'll have the top open for the paper clip. So I'll be right back when I do that and I'll show you the finish of that. All right, I have it all sewn and you can see I did my, I love um, a zigzag stitch that kind of wraps around the edge to kind of, you know, seal everything in there. And I left the top open. So now I can just take my paper clip and I can put it in here. I can find the opening. And once again, you can decide, you know, if you want the long side out or the short side out of the back there. And then we can put it, let me just, I'm going to go to a page that you can really see it on. We can put it on the side there, just like that. And let me grab some of this ephemera that I was kind of showing before. So then you can have some ephemera here and maybe even this one with a, the little tag at the top there. But I love the way that looks. And this one, because we didn't glue it in, and you could certainly glue it in. There's there's no reason you, you know, you couldn't glue it in. Just be sure, you know, you don't sew <laughs> over the top of the metal piece and end up breaking a needle or something on your sewing machine. But you could certainly glue this together before you sew it so that um, the paper clip doesn't come out. But this is kind of nice because the paper clip comes out and um, I can move it around or put it on something else. Um, you could also do this one as a top paper clip. You know, if you had, um, and I mean, I certainly don't mind that the words are sideways here. I just thought this one was really fun as, um, you know, kind of looking like a, like a belly band there kind of all together. So um, that's another idea that you can use to make an altered paper clip. 
And there you have it, friends. Eight ideas for altered paper clips to add to your journals. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I certainly had a good time making it for you. Please leave me a comment below if you'd like to see something else specific in my videos or just to say hi. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.